Hello and welcome back. This is video number five and we're going to talk about how to add the pixel code to your website. Now it is really going to depend on what kind of landing page creator you use, what kind of website platform that you use. So for example, WordPress is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to show you a WordPress plugin that you can use. If you're say, for example, using a HTML website page builder or click funnels or lead pages or optimize press or any other type of landing page builder, you need to make sure that the pixel is on every single page of your funnel because you're going to want to track everything from start to finish. Or you just want to put the pixel code on the pages that you want to track. For example, the pages where they initially visit, the pages where they convert, the pages where they don't convert, and so forth. So that you're able to kind of get a bigger bird's eye view of what is happening, what people are visiting, what people are not, and all that. So if you click on the install pixel code in Facebook Manager, then you'll see this page. Now, like I said, it can change, but basically what you need to do is it says locate the header code for your website. So what you're going to look for is the head tags and you're going to put the pixel code within these tags. So like I said, it's going to differ based upon what kind of platform you use. But the majority of times, if you are using something like lead pages or click funnels or something similar, then they will typically give you the option to add some sort of code to the head tag. So that's actually very easy to do. Now, when it comes to something like WordPress, you will want to add this code to a plugin. You could do that, or you could add it to the header.php template of your WordPress theme. So I'm going to show you different options that you can take, two different options for a WordPress site. But of course, if you're not familiar and this is a little bit overwhelming, you can always get a web developer to do this for you. It's really not hard to do once you understand the concept. So now let's talk about the WordPress plugin that we highly recommend that you use. We actually use this on a lot of our WordPress sites and it's a free plugin. If you go to wordpress.org slash plugins slash pixel your site, as you can see here, or you can simply come here, click on plugins and type that in here. That's fine as well. But this plugin is very useful and it allows you to add your Facebook pixel to certain pages of your WordPress site. So it's a matter of just simply installing the plugin, grabbing your pixel code and adding it to the settings area. So it's very, very easy if what we talked about before it seemed a little bit daunting. Now, once you have everything installed, the next thing you're going to want to have is you're going to want to install a Google Chrome extension called the Facebook Pixel Helper. And the reason why you want to install this is because you want to make sure that the web pages that you're inserting into Facebook actually have the Facebook Pixel. And you definitely don't want to assume that it is installed and set up your campaign, pay the money for the Facebook ads and realize, oops, it's not there. So this is a, another free plugin for Google Chrome. And if you're using other things like Safari or Firefox, you can probably go and Google Facebook Pixel Firefox or Facebook Pixel Safari. But for Google Chrome, this is what we use. And all you have to do is install it. And as you can see down here, you're going to see this icon and any web page that you visit in your funnel. If you click that, it should say that the pixel has been found. If it has not been found, you either need to reinstall it, showing what we talked about earlier with the WordPress plugin and all that, or even just hiring somebody who knows how to do that. And it's really not that hard. But this is going to make your life a lot easier.
So again, go to Google, type in Pixel Helper Chrome extension, and you'll get this right here. And that's really all you need. All you need to do as a recap is number one, install the Pixel in the head tags for any web page that you want. And number two, get this Chrome extension so that you're able to test and make sure that you've installed the Pixel correctly. So now that you understand how to add the Pixel to your website, your WordPress site, or your landing page builder, let's move on to the next video and let's talk about the Facebook Pixel variables and the different settings of the Pixel itself so that you're able to track, you're able to see what is converting and all that.